All right, here we go. This is going to be a look at Zigfeld Rivera from the New Jersey Sting. Uh, Zigdog, Zigdog 2K3. Ziggy, as I've been referring to him a bit recently. Uh, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> going back to the New Jersey Sting here. <clears throat> Oh, man, it's one of my favorites. I always say it. It's one of my favorites. Ziegfeld, it's a short segment. It's only uh, two minutes long here, but I'm sure I'll be able to drag this one out. <laughs> Let's get, can we, get, we should get an over-under, you know, on how long this is going to be. I, don't know, I, I think I can push it to 20. So we'll say we'll say over-under 21 minutes uh, out of a two-minute long segment. We'll have to see. We'll have to come back at the end and see if we're right or not. But yeah. <laughs> Fucking Zigdog. What am I... I've been really getting into it a bit lately here. Zigdog here. <clears throat> really short chat log. And, uh, you know, he doesn't talk to Chris Hansen or anything. But still, I still get a quite a kick out of it. Uh, so I wanted to take a look at it here today. So let's go. Initiating a call right this second. Men are coming from far and wide in hopes of meeting a young teen home alone. This is uh, Zig Dog 2K3 Zig Dog. Uh, from Staten Island, New York. <laughs> Staten Island. Whoa, he should have been given uh, Staten Island. Eh? He should have been um, <laughs> should have should have offered Palumbo a ride. Of course. I mean, you're showing up at night. You know, you, you, it would be it would be the neighborly thing to do <laughs> to offer Palumbo a guy who can't drive. He's not a driver at night. His eyes are not good, not good enough to drive at night. You know, it would have been it would have been a decent thing to do, Ziggy Zig Dog, to uh, to offer Palumbo a ride. <laughs> You know, you know, it, it would have been it would have been the right thing to do. I don't know if they showed up on the same day or not. I don't know. This is what the thirtieth. Uh, I can't remember if Palumbo. You know what? I have I have it saved. Uh, I got sent a link by the good old uh, keycap legend Grandpa Stan that shows me the date of the arrests for the New Jersey thing. Palumbo showed up on the thirtieth. Or the show, I'm sorry. Zigfeld showed up on the 30... Oh! Zigfeld showed up on the 31st. And Palumbo showed up on the 31st as well. Two guys were en route from Staten Island. Man, that is a... Uh, that is what I call a T-cap, you know, mindfuck right there. I thought I was pretty much done with all the T-cap mindfucks. But yeah, Zigdog and Palumbo showed up on the same day from Staten Island. That is incredible. So these guys could have been on the road together. You know, Palumbo's probably, Zig Dog probably saw some guy fucking lost, <laughs> you know, pulled over on the side of the road, hazard lights going off. <laughs> it's like, whoa, this guy's fucking lost. Oh, well, he's lost. I hope he's not going to go fuck somebody right now. You're like I am. And then boom, they get arrested one after another, man. That is incredible. It doesn't have the time of the arrest on here. Unless I might be missing it. I think Zigdog was a bit earlier than Palumbo. But the same day, at least. Yeah, that's incredible, man. That, that is a, that is a T-cap mindfuck. Who the hell knew that we would find out some, some truly revelation, some true revelation, uh, you know, like, like that. <laughs> During good old Zigdog segment. Zigdog, wild cookie. <laughs> Oh man, alright, alright, alright. I gotta get I gotta I'm a little bit I'm a little bit I'm a little bit nuts here. I apologize. Uh let's get into it. During this operation in Ocean County, New Jersey, they travel from Connecticut, New York State, all over New York City, Pennsylvania, as well as within New Jersey. Meet twenty one year old Zigfeld Rivera. He drove more than an hour from Staten Island, New York to meet a girl who said she was 13 <laughs> using the screen. And so fucking Zigdog, man. Quick mover. Quick mover is Zigdog. Um, you know, uh, it's very short chat log. It starts at 311. And, uh, you know, he's there. He's there by, you know, 8 o'clock or something, you know, around 930, you know. All one day. Uh, not it's quick moving quick mover chat log. And, you know, I never really know what to make of those, you know, quick movers. <clears throat> As you can see, the chat started on uh, Teen Spot. I've done I've done some googling here. I've never heard of fucking Teen Spot other than 
references in TCAP. Um, I was doing some Googling here, and uh, Teen Spot looks to be, like, to, for, to me, if I was a teen in this era, and there's a website called Teen Spot, I would not go onto Teen Spot. It just sounds like it would be a place like, you know, like, hey, we're trying to be cool and, and hip and relatable. This looks like a kid I knew from my youth. It's not him, but it looks exactly like him. And if you can imagine, <laughs> if you can imagine the type of kid, you know, this kid looks like a dick. And the kid that I'm referring to is also a dick. So, <laughs> but look, it does look really much like him. It's not him, though. But, uh. Yeah, but Teen Spot just sounds like it's it's going to be trying so hard to appeal to, 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 to kids. And that would be overrun by pedophiles or predators. And I don't believe that I'm far off there because when you go over here, there's a video here. I watched it. I mean, it's a bit... It's, I mean, Teen Spot is full of pedophiles. And I went and I watched this video. It's a very 2008 video. I mean, it's got the... Every, down to the, you know, unregistered hypercam... Uh, uh, thing in the corner, you know, uh, the Windows Vista in the background, Firefox, you know, all that, very mid-2000s, very, very 2008, nostalgic, yes, but, I don't know, i never seen this one before, from Penn State University, let's take a look at what's, what this video is. Come on here. But yeah, Teen Spot seems like it's, it's either for for, 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 for predators. It seems like a spot made for predators. And Zigdog was one of them. Zigdog was on fucking Teen Spot. Uh, trolling around for, for, uh, for younger, for young, young teens. This isn't loading. Give me a second. Okay, so I don't know what the fuck this is. Um, <laughs> this is from the official Penn State University YouTube account. It's got 300 views. 383 views. I don't know what the hell this is. Let's try to find out what this is. Let's play. Come on, jump in. Go where you've never, ever been. This is interesting. This is so I from what I gather, I want the rest of the play. I'll mute the fucking music though, because that's annoying me. Um, <laughs> the, from what I gather, this doesn't have anything to do with uh, Teen Spot. Rather, this is some sort of promotion for Penn State University. I don't know why they decided to title it that. That's a bit interesting there, Penn State. Maybe they were just so... I don't know. I don't know. There is a joke that could be made there about, <laughs> about uh, uh, you know, a certain former football coach at, teen, <laughs> at Penn State. I don't know. But yeah, but my point is Teen Spot looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> but this is where Zigdog was originally trolling for. But yes, my point is, man, okay, 21 minutes on the over-under, we are going to shatter that. <laughs> I hope no one bet any actual money on this. <clears throat> but my, yeah, the fucking, uh, uh, very, I don't know what to make of these short chat logs, you know. These guys are very, you know, they're definitely... And New Jersey has a quite a quite a quite a few of them actually. A lot of these short chat logs in New Jersey, um, yeah. You know, I, I don't know what to make of them. It's very very brief. They get down right down to it. You know, makes really no kind of ifs ands or buts about it. Definitely a contrast from the serial groomers of 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 you know the Lauren Armstrongs, the John Wesley Elliotts, the Dustin McFetridges of the world. You know. But, um, you know, I don't know which is worse. Because, you know, we could just be horny at the time, like Chris Weaver, Kevin Smith said. I don't know. I don't know. They're both bad. They're both bad. I think the groomers, the long groomer chat logs are bad. But they, these are should not be overlooked, in my opinion. Because, you know, they really show that they're just kind of thinking and, you know, not, or maybe not thinking. But, you know, they just, they're, 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 they're unfazed is, is what I think it is. You know, they get over this, you're young though, do you like older guys? You know, they get, they get through that, and then after that, it's just on fucking autopilot. So, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I must, I, <laughs> oh man, we're, this is, this is a train wreck, I apologize. But I must say, I gotta, I gotta say something about your, your profile picture here, Ziggy. Zig dog, you want a cookie? <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know what this is in the background. I've been trying to figure out what the hell this is in the background. It looks like some sort of anime character, doesn't it? I'm not very well versed in anime at all. Um, I could be off base. I don't know. It does look like some sort of cartoon character. Um, I don't know what it is, but yeah, Zig Dog with a nice, you know, profile shot looking more deep and interesting than I'm sure he probably is. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my point here. All right, we can finally get back into it. Let's go. Come on here. Let's go. Name Zigdog 2K3, he tells the decoy he's nervous about meeting her. I would want to hang out with you if you keep it a secret. Oh, dang. I wouldn't tell anyone. Then he asks if she's a virgin. She tells him she is, so he continues. I was oh thinking, God. <laughs> maybe you could do something for me. Um, uh, maybe. Like what? Like <laughs> my... <laughs> you want me to do that in the car? If you want. <laughs> yeah, oh, wait. Why not? Yeah, why not? Sounds good. Yeah, you know, it's it's very interesting here by Zigdog. He wanted to take the girl into her car, into his car, and uh, take her off somewhere. It's that's a bit creepy as well. It is a bit creepy there. But um, you know, actually, you know what? I'm looking at where we are here. You know, we're, we're we got about a minute left to go in this. I, we're at 11 minutes. I don't know if I can stretch it out for another 10 minutes. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. We'll have to find out. But yeah, he wants to take the girl into his car. Um, I don't really know. That, that, that's creepy, man. That is creepy, man. Um, get roadhead and take her off somewhere. Who knows if he if he had good intentions or not? You know, was he gonna return the girl? Back to the house? I don't know. I don't know. What would have happened if the girl freaked out or something, you know? It's a bit creepy there. It's a bit of a, uh... It's a bit, it's a bit darker than I was, you know, expecting it to be there, Zigdog, you know? I, I, I was willing to give you some benefit of the doubt. I'm in a goofy-ass mood here, you know? Um, as a goofy predator, I want to laugh at you. But then you drop some shit like that, man. It's a bit scary. Um, maybe... I was thinking maybe you, yeah, then maybe you could do something for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't do anything for you, though, sweetheart. You know, I won't. <laughs> it's all about me getting my sick fucking kicks here. And yeah, I'll just, yeah, I'll drop you off. I'll get you, maybe I'll get you a fucking, Mc, some chicken McNuggets or something afterwards, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Zigdog was, definitely wasn't going to do anything for this girl, though. I'll tell you that much. Like what? Like, fuck my, like, fuck my dick. You want me to do that in the car? If you want. Yeah, why yeah, not? Yeah, why not? I like that, too. The decoys just starts off like, you really want me to do that in the car? And, and then it's like, yeah, if you want. And then the decoys just like, yeah, why not? I, you know, I was skeptical like two seconds ago, but I'm not skeptical anymore. Yeah, why not? Sounds fun, you know? <laughs> they do that a lot in Perverted Justice, as I've read a good amount, you know, as I, as I read more and more of these chat logs, they just tell the guy what they want to hear, obviously, and uh, it makes sense. Uh, one second, guys, one second. All right, we're back. Let's keep going. Uh, you're in a big house. He also big tells house. her. Oh, I, you know, I didn't think we were gonna hear him talk, but yeah, yeah see that right why there. not? You're in a big house. Big house. Big he house. also tells her. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot! And this decoy, by the way, warning sign should be going off in Zig Zig Dog's head here. Um, decoy is not wearing anything that he said he wanted to wear, did he? He said, "What are you gonna be wearing?" I think he said skirt. Uh, can you wear something nice for me? Yeah, like what? A uh, short skirt and a little top. <laughs> the complete fucking opposite of what he wanted the decoy to wear. <laughs> the complete opposite, isn't it? The fucking nose, short, short skirt, nope, long jeans. <laughs> so, uh, wait, what, what was his exact phrasing? Little top, fucking hoodie, <laughs> baggy hoodie. Not exactly what you were uh, expecting there, Zigdog. Zigdog, want a cookie? Come here. <laughs> Let's go. Marijuana. Sit down, I made some brownies. The brownies have been sitting out for more than a day. We didn't realize it, but by now... Hey, look at this big fucking rock. smile. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe brownies too, man. It's a fucking big day for Ziggy. Card. So did you, uh... <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad that he got the rock hard brownies. Fucking obnoxious, man. Fucking obnoxious. <laughs> Yo, know, after he's, uh... 
<laughs> after he's after he's just you know such a dickhead and and an asshole with his big stupid smile on his face. I'm glad that he got the fucking uh, rock hard brownies, man. Look All at right. this idiot. <laughs> so did you? Um... <laughs> he's like he's like he's like I don't want to say what I'm thinking here. You know I don't want to be like yo what the fuck is this man. I don't want to, you know, completely put her off. You know, I drove, a, I've already invested a good amount of time in this. I've already drove an hour in that Staten Island traffic. Um, you know, I don't really want to insult the girl, but what the fuck? You know, I, 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 I can't let it slide here. You know, that's what Zigdog is thinking. I gotta just choke it down. I gotta choke it down. At the least. At the, the least I can do is just choke it down, right? So, okay, gosh, huh? um, I <laughs> he fucking, he's just still chop, chop, chopping at it, man. So, <laughs> it's quite comical, I must say, I must say. But even yeah, such a bad host. Um, I figured we could hang out. Such a bad host is this decoy, man. I, you know, doesn't even get offer him, uh, you know, some sort of beverage. They have the water bottle out here, at least. At least that's what it looks like. They have the water bottle out there for him, I guess. But uh, he needs like a glass of milk or something to go with that. Something. He needs something. Out here for a little bit first and then maybe go take a drive if you want. I'm just gonna go get something to drink and then if you wanna get everything out and ready. Okay. <laughs> no, even worse hosting by the decoy there. She says I'll get myself something to drink. Nothing for him, fuck you. You know, I'm not, you gotta have some sort of spatial awareness here. I know, uh, Casey, I know, I know, uh, this was your big breakthrough into acting. Um, <clears throat> You know, I know that you're just kind of going off the same script. You said the same thing to Michael Lebrano. You know, I'm just going to go get myself something to drink. Um, you know, I, uh, uh, you know, I know that you're just kind of going off your script here, but you got to have some sort of improv ability. You know, Nervous Nelly would have been like, "Yo, I noticed that you, uh, I'll get, uh, you want a water or anything?" She asked that to every single predator. Um, well, not John Dupay because he came loaded with the fucking uh, Snapple, right? But. <laughs> you know, she had that 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 awareness, Casey. Where I I got I got a critique. I got to take some points off on my on my T cap report card here. I I got I got to take off some points. Uh, you know, for not giving him the uh, not saying, hey, I I see that you're you're struggling to choke those brownies down. Uh, I'll get you some milk or something. You just stay right there. Why don't you pull your weed out too while you're here? Rock hard. Let's watch it again. So did you um. <laughs> I do like that too by Lebrano. You know, he's got the the awareness as well. You, um... He's gonna get crumbs all over the place, all over the place, all over the gaff. He's gonna get crumbs all over, and uh, he puts his hand under it to kind of catch the crumbs. I I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. Did you bring the weed? Did you bring the weed? Mm -hmm. So, and yeah, he says that he's gonna go bring the weed, that they never find weed on him. I don't know what his plan was there. Just to kind of bait the girl out, perhaps? Um, Maybe he was gonna go get some, but he's in an area... I, my thinking was that, you know, he he was gonna go get some from the area. But he's not from this area, so he wouldn't know where to go to get it. So, I don't know, he doesn't have the weed on him. I might have just been like a little tactic to get the girl in the car. Oh, we're gonna hotbox the car, but we're not actually gonna do that because I don't have any weeds. Ooh, ooh! I wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt, Zigdog, but ooh, I don't think I can do that. I figured we could hang out here for a little bit first, and then maybe go take a drive if you want. I'm just gonna go get something to drink, and then if you want to get everything out and ready, okay. <laughs> And this guy's just like, Ugh. he can't even process it. He can't even process the ludicrousy of it, right? Because he's just fucking like, he's just completely mind fucked from the fucking brownie, eh? <laughs> oh, man. And I'm looking at the timer right now. Yes, we're going to pass 21 minutes. Oh, yes. And I didn't even have to really drag it out that much either. That's pretty cool. And then if you want to get everything out and ready. Okay. And this guy's just like, walks away. I walk uh -oh. in. Uh-oh. So it seemed like he had a little trouble, uh, why don't you ever see uh, Oh, man, no! Oh, you know Hanson was gonna come out with some zinger there. He's like, I noticed you had some trouble choking that brownie down. You're gonna choke on your, uh, you're gonna choke, oh, man, I, I'm trying to think of, like, what was Hanson gonna say right there? You know, what was Hanson gonna say right there as his I opening line? 
So it seemed like you had a little trouble. Uh, it seems like you had a little trouble uh, having some having some brownies there. Can I get your glass of milk to go along with those brownies? Yeah, why don't you take a seat right over there? Walks away. You no, know, what was he gonna say, man? What was Hansen gonna say? One of those in. great unanswered questions. It seemed like he had a little trouble. Uh, why don't you have a seat? Okay. And then he just turns away. Sure. Nothing. To, nothing to say. Nothing to say. Ooh, man, Zigdog. You think, man? What a complete mind fuck, man. He got. He got. He got served. Uh, uh, rock hard brownies. I hate that saying. I, I I just don't like that that word brownie. I don't like that word. I don't know. I know that's what they're called, but I don't like saying it. But he got served. It just sounds like a brownie. Ooh, you know. Ooh, I don't like the word. There's just just some of my weird quirks. I don't like the way that they get. I don't like the something about them. I don't like the way that certain words are 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 are, are pronounced. You know, the spelling of some words. I just try to avoid them as much as I can. But I have no choice right here. But yes, <clears throat> LeBron's mind is racing, man. He's like, man, I got served rock hard brownies, and now I got betrayed. Ooh, you know, I mean, he was visibly worried about this in this chat log. You know, he says, I really am. Are you really, if you are, I really am going to come if you are really not a cop or something. <laughs> he mentions it quite a lot. Um... Yeah, you know, is this, if you're not a cop or something, you know, uh, don't call the cops, you know. Ooh, Zigdog, you got betrayed, man. You got taken for a fucking ride. You got taken for a ride, Zigdog. Zigdog, want a cookie? Let's go. Want a brownie? Like there you go. Want a brownie? Yeah, a little trouble, uh, why don't you have a seat? Right there. Sure. I'd like to ask you some questions. He takes off, and as you'll see when the cops grab him, there's a hard time <laughs> getting him to the it, ground. Get down, please! Down, 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 down. And again, inconsistency from the New Jersey police, uh, whatever city this is in, Mantelaking, or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, yeah, they, uh, they, uh, they try to take him down, but he doesn't go down very easily. He's just like, guys, come on, we really have to go down to the ground? Like, I'm no one peaceful here. Him to the ground. He's just like, guys, are you guys serious, man? Like, he's not putting up a fight or anything. And they didn't take a lot of guys to the ground. Maybe they just realized, hey, this guy's got, this guy's got marijuana on him. He's got the devil's lettuce on him. We gotta take him down, man. You know, they don't take, they don't take Palumbo down same night, right? They don't take Palumbo down, but they decide to take uh, to take old Zigdog down. Bit inconsistent there, T. Uh, uh, police, a little bit inconsistent, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, man, and he's like, he's just like very like guys, guys. I'm not going. I'm, go I'm going peacefully, but they still take him down anyway. He's just, he's just kind of got like another what the fuck reaction, you know. He's just got like another kind of. They have a hard what time the getting reaction, him to the ground. Man. Oh man. We say they never find marijuana on him or in his car. And so I've seen that speculate as well. I was doing some preliminary research here, kind of all week trying to find whatever I can on on Zig Dog here. Some people speculate that. Uh, they just, that's the way New Jersey police are. If they don't, eh, we're not going to make a big deal about the weed chart, so we'll just pretend like we didn't find it, you know. That might just be what they, what they ended up telling Dateline, you know. Oh, yeah, we just didn't find any, meaning they just they didn't care about it to really charge him with it. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, that's a theory, at least. I like to think my theory is that he just didn't bring any, and he used that as a l tactic to, to lure, she l lured me, to lure the decoy out. <clears throat> I'm wondering, yeah, I, that, that's my theory anyway. And then we get the great, this is what he's most known for. <laughs> Zigdog is great, man. Without an interview, he's actually known for quite a bit here. He's He's known for, you know, the, uh, the now, the now, the Staten Island connection with Anthony Palumbo, same night and everything, you know, but he's known as the rock hard brownie predator, as well as the, 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 the fuck, fuck predator, as we'll see. Gets the unblurred, the, uh, unbleeped, uh, uh, fuck Marijuana on national on television. Him. Congratulations, Zigdog. Him or in his car. Easy. Listen, relax. Fuck! You know, I love that. Great 
aggression and energy and anger out of him. Yeah, man, Zigdog. Zigdog is pissed, and you can see some early signs of male pattern baldness there, eh? That is pretty rough, man. 21? Yeah. Is he 21? Is he actually 21, or did he lie his age? Uh, let's see what they say here. Uh, 21? Wow, yeah, 21 has already got some signs of, his of male pattern baldness there. So I wonder, you know, I wonder what he's looking like these days. You know, I don't have any pictures of him or anything recently. I wonder, you know, if he's, uh... Easy. Listen, relax. <laughs> I wonder, you know, who was doing the editing for Dateline when they saw that. You know, they're like, wait, what did he say? What did he say? It doesn't sound like he's saying fuck, but... Is he saying fuck? Easy. Listen, relax. You know, it's like, I wonder who was doing the editing for that when they saw that and just kind of skipped over it, you know? <laughs> you know? Easy. They just missed some bit at the end, you know? The guy just, just, ah, whatever. You know, maybe, <laughs> it's clearly fucked, right? Like, I'm not just losing my mind here. Listen, relax. I mean, I am losing my mind, but... It's definitely fucked. You know, maybe you could say in one interpretation, the first one is just a generic, oh! you know, maybe something like that. <laughs> Probably just scared. Probably just scared everybody outside right now. It's okay. It's okay. I'll explain. I can explain, you know. But, uh, you know, you could, could maybe say that that first one is just a, oh! you know, to the untrained ear. You know, not fluid and uh, not well versed in profanity, perhaps. On him. Maybe that one is a ugh. But the second one is no doubt about it a fuck. Join his call. I mean, they're both fucks, in my opinion. Down. 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 They're easy. Listen, relax. Please, please, please. No, they're both fucks. They're both definitely fucks. The editor just fucked up. The editor just dropped the ball. Do you think there were any concerned, uh, you know, parents watching this? You know, the target demographic of the show who were like, you know, um,. We're already horrified as it is, you know. I mean, they see these these slobs, you know, these these completely gross and disgusting individuals, such as you know the the Thomas Shins of the world, the the Rob, uh, no uh, Richard Burnham's, you know, the guys who are really fucked up. You know, they get they they get them all scared about that, and then they show Zigdog, an unblurred, an unbleeped fuck on national television. Oh man, they were probably they were probably flipping out, man. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's it. That's Zigdog. I got, boom, 27 minutes. So let's see if I can push it. Let's see if I can waste a good two more minutes. I think I can. But, um, to get this to the 30 minute mark over a segment that's two minutes long and doesn't even feature Chris Hansen interview. Yeah, it's great, man. It's a certain kind of, uh, it's a certain kind of madness. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a certain kind of madness. You know, I was expecting this to be like a quick one. 10 minutes, 15 minutes at the top, at the most. And then I just got started doing it. I'm like, yeah, I'm all over the fucking place. So we're not going to get that. So that's okay. That's okay. But yeah, uh, Ziggy. That's Ziggy. That's pretty much it for Zig Dog. I've been trying to find anything I could on this guy. I found his current, what I believe is his current house, his current location. Still in Staten Island, as far as, I, as, far as I'm aware. I believe I found his current address, I found his current phone number, and I think I found his sister-in-law? I don't know about that. that. That's a bit more, That that's one I'm not 100% sure on. But no pictures of Ziggy. I tried, I tried, I tried. I literally, I spent a good amount of time this past week looking at shit for Zigdog, trying to find something about this guy. Found nothing, found nothing. But... To give me some good, some good, uh, uh, some good entertainment this week, I must say, between the chat log, between the segment, which is really good, I might just watch the New Jersey episode t tonight, just because I got nothing else to do. Might, 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 might watch the the New Jersey episode. I'm, just, I'm a big fan of it. I might do it. But yeah, uh, so uh, some other things here. Uh, nothing really all that interesting. Ziggy. Speaking of Ziggy, Ziggy Palfi, fucking hockey player. That's the first thing I thought of. And then, of course, Ziggy Stardust, if you're a fan of David Bowie. I mean, I'm not really, but some people are. A lot of people are. Uh, so there's that. Ziggy Palfi. Other famous Ziggies? I don't know. Ziggy, Ziggy, Ziggy. What if I type in Ziggy? What's the first thing that pops up when I type in Ziggy? Ziggy Heath? Ziggy Marley? Ziggy Home and Away? 
I don't know. If that does, if that floats your boat, there it is. But yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all I got on Ziggy. This was quite an interesting one. We took a lot of in the, it, taught, it took a lot of interesting turns in this one. <laughs> Definitely not the uh, the uh, you know the the what the way I expected this to go. But I hope I did it justice. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, see you guys later.